What's up, idols? It's CC Lesson 3. Welcome back to my channel, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Bay comes home in a week, so I'm gonna wear his shirt again. You know what we have not done in a while? A story time. So let's change that and do a story time today. So what happens when you leave your home country and you decide to move abroad and live abroad and you want to make that transition into your new life as comfortable as possible? You want to fit in, you want to assimilate, you want to learn the language. So one of the things you might do is get a tutor. But what happens when you get a tutor and uh, you want to be tutored, but they want more than that. You end up in an awkward romantic whirlwind situation and shit doth hit the fan. It ends up being a nasty situation, so let's find out what happens. Buckle up, buttercup. Speaking of nasty situation. I've been a nasty girl. Nasty. I've been a nasty girl. Nasty. I've been a nasty girl. Nasty. Two days ago, I uploaded a story time on Patreon about some... Oh, okay, so there was a girl who was in Korea for a few weeks. She went to get a drink by herself at a bar. The guy came over to her. She thought he was cute. Even though she found out he had a girlfriend and wife, she went back to his place anyway. And things, things got wild from there because they were interrupted by someone and that was a crazy story. Let's get into this crazy story though. Also, if you wanna help with the engagement and all this stuff, please like the video. And if you don't know what to say, leave a comment that says for the watch. A lot of you guys do that and I love when you do that. It helps me out so much. Thank you, keep it up. Right, so for today's video, she has to be called Moana because there's a Moana sequel coming out in like November and there's also a live action Moana about to come out and Moana just seems super relevant right now. So she said, yeah, call me Moana. So that's what we're gonna do. Hey Moana. So yeah, like we mentioned in the pre-intro intro thing, Moana moved to Korea recently and she was looking for a tutor. She did prep a bit, you know, she watched some videos online, she downloaded some apps, but she never got to practice with an actual Korean person and that's what she wanted to do. And believe it or not, she actually found a tutor on Hello Talk of all places. Brother, uh. He had posts and it advertised become fluent in Korean with Opa and some shit like that. And it was a link to a Facebook page where everything seemed pretty legit. A lot of people were leaving really good reviews. So she was interested. She was like, okay, I'm intrigued. The page had a lot of likes, a lot of comments. So she was like, okay, this seems legit. So she messaged him saying, you know, I'm not really sure how this works, but like, what's your availability like? What are the rates? I really want to learn Korean. I just got here. And he responded immediately. He was super professional at first emphasis on at first but so far it seemed like a situation that was gonna work out for her so they agreed on a time and place where they were gonna meet for their first little trial period he was being kind and he said for the first session he's not gonna charge her just to see if she likes the way he teaches if they can work together well free of charge first time meeting which is so nice you don't know <laughs> no so they met at a cafe near one of the subway stations in Myeongdong because it's a very crowded, touristy place, easy enough to get around. First, they talked about what she wanted to focus on. Like some people, when they learn a language, they want to focus on business. Some people want to focus on food and like needing help. Like, oh, I want to order. Oh, where's the bathroom? Can I make a right here? Some people want to be fluent. Some people need to start with the basics. So he was just trying to get a feel for what she already knew and what she wanted to know. She's like, well, I want to be fluent. Oppa, make me fluent. She said up to that point, she knew how to read Hangul. She could do you know, basic greetings, 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. And honestly, she could see where all the good reviews were coming from because he seemed to know his stuff. Like the way he communicated with her, she really understood well. They had a plan. They were talking about, we're gonna cover this for the first time, then this the second time, this the third time. He even had all the materials prepared for her that she would need. Like she can't emphasize it enough. He really knew his stuff and she was like, oh my God, you'll be the perfect tutor for me. So with the end of a first successful trial, they decided to exchange emails and cacao so they could make plans for future lessons and future meetings. So for this story, we'll call the tutor Bomyu. Why not? So being completely honest, Moana did think he was really cute. She said he was older, but she liked his glasses. She really liked how his glasses looked on him. She thought he had the best skin and he was tall. A tree she might like to climb one of these days. <laughs> but she completely respected his professionalism. She just wanted to keep this tutor, tutory relationship going. Tutory? But yeah, because he was older, he, you know, made the joke like, oh yeah, you can call me Opa. And at that point, she was like, I'm pretty sure he uses his looks to get clients. So... <laughs> so yeah, she left this first trial meeting with him feeling like, yeah, I'm gonna be a pro at Korean in no time. But she was pretty surprised because the next day, he messaged her on Kakao, like not relating to tutoring whatsoever. He asked her how she was doing. She said she was good and looking forward to their next session. She really wants to learn Korean. Like she's super eager to learn Korean. He would ask these sort of questions like you're trying to get to know someone, not so much like you're trying to help tutor someone, you know? She said her life in Korea is pretty good, but she does find it really hard to make Korean friends. She has loads of foreign friends, 
But Korean friends is hard to make because she don't speak the language and that's part of the reason she wants to learn because she wants to make all sorts of friends. So without hesitating, <laughs> Bomi was like, oh, you should meet my friends. You should join us this weekend. He said it was a three-day weekend. They were going to go out on Friday, have fun, catch up, have some drinks. And we all know what happens when people have some drinks. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So she did hesitate a bit when he said, oh, yeah, come out with me. But then he's like, oh, you know, we can practice Korean in like a real social setting. She's like, oh, okay, sold. He knew what he was doing. After this conversation she had with him, something in her told her to go back and check the reviews on Facebook. And she found it funny because she noticed that almost all of his clients or tutorees we're women. Yeah, seducing them with the face. Yeah, we know the type. So at this point, she's like, ah, Opa is a player. Okay, so she made her guard go all the way up. She, she put up every wall she could to keep this professional. Because yes, he was very cute, but he was also really good at his job. And she just really wanted to get good at Korean. She kept emphasizing that she did not want to blur the lines between business and pleasure. Pero por qué no los dos? I'm just playing. But no, for real, what would you guys do in this situation? You're trying to learn a language. Like that is your main focus. You want to learn a language. But the guy teaching you the language happens to be really cute. And he also happens to be super flirty. And he also happens to be really good at his job. So what do you do? Let me know in the comments. Would you go out to meet with him and his friends? Would you say no? I'll see you next Wednesday in the cafe when it's time to study again. So like I said, at first she found him to be completely professional and she really liked that. But the more they talked, the more he became a flirtatious homie. He texted her all the time. Don't be too busy. Make sure you eat something warm. Don't get sick. I want to see you healthy. Things like that. So they had met up once for like the trial session. And then they had plans to meet up again so she could meet his friends. But before that, they did have their first official tutoring session. And to her surprise, when they met up, he was super professional again. He was not being that flirtatious homie. He was just like, okay, so you ready to start today's lesson? I want you to say this to me and you repeat back. Let me know what I just said. Translate this. Like he was really on it. She wrote that in the email a lot. She can't emphasize enough how good he was at his job. The encouragement, the tips he gave her. The way he communicated with her, just it just made sense. Like she was able to understand it and remember it so well, which is why the end of the story is an awful shame. <laughs> and on top of that, his rates were fair. Like she was like, that's that's all you're charging me? Like this is a pretty good deal. So yeah, she definitely wanted to keep him around as her tutor, only her tutor. So anyway, let's jump to this night when she meets his friends. POV, it's Friday night. You got a long three day weekend ahead, which is rare in Korea. It is shamefully rare to have a three day weekend. Like God, give these people time off of work so they can live their lives. So before they go over to the clubs that they have lined up, Bom Yu decided he's going to go to her place to meet her so he can escort her over because she don't know where she's going. So she decided to wear a cute high-waisted pleated skirt with like a blouse tucked in. And it was the first time she dressed like cutesy or girly because when she saw him as a tutor, tutory sort of thing, she was only wearing like jeans and a t-shirt or a coat, you know? <laughs> And he loved her outfit. He kept telling her how cute she looked. I go no more cute. She wanted to dress cute though because she's like, oh my god, a night out clubbing. I could meet someone. <gasps> what if I meet the one? <gasps> Tonight, imagine me gown and all. Oh, we, we gotta stop trying to look for love in the club. So to get back on track, because he is her tutor, she decided to ask him, like, oh, how do you say this in Korean? Like she did that a lot to switch but remember, you are my tutor. She didn't want to cross any line, but like, let's be real. <laughs> Y'all going out for drinks, <laughs> something's gonna happen. So the plan was to go to a club in Yongsan because one of his friends owned the club and they knew they could get like free drinks or extremely discounted drinks. So they were gonna start there first. So far, Bum Yu has the owner of the club as a friend, but he's not included in the group of friends she was set to meet. It was a Korean couple, guy and a girl. There was a foreign girl and there was another Korean guy. Those are the four friends that he's like, oh yeah, you can meet my friends this weekend. Now what's funny is the foreign girl also used to be one of his students or clients. She used to be tutored by him too, but she stopped because she started to date someone and they started to teach her Korean for free. So they decided to stay friends after that though. And she did say that the Korean couple didn't speak a lot of English, like they didn't really speak to them too much, but they were still really sweet and nice. And so was this foreign girl, like she really liked his friends. And then there was the other guy, and we're gonna call him Yeonjae, and he is, he's a pretty cool dude. She said Yeonjae was so cute, he was incredibly social, and at first she thought he was just drunk and like got way more drunk before they got to him, but that was just his personality. He was a very social, funny guy. So after they decided to enjoy some of their free drinks, naturally, some of the effects are starting to be felt. Bomyu was no longer subtle with his flirtation. He was very 
very in your face about it. Moana's discomfort was pretty visible because the foreign girl noticed and the friend Yonje also noticed. So the foreign friend, let's just call her Lucy. I'm rewatching Fairy Tale. Let's just call her Lucy. She's like, oh, don't worry. He's like this when he drinks. Like, he doesn't mean it. Don't take it personally. He's like this with every cute girl. So then Yonje decided to try and make an excuse to get Bomyu away from her. He said, come on, bro. Like, like, let's go dance. Let me go get you some water. You need, you need some air, like, to keep, keep them away from each other for a little bit because she's like, chill, bro. I'm just trying to make some friends tonight. But he would always come back like, yeah, yeah, let's let's dance, Moana. <laughs> Why am I making him sound like that? I guarantee 1 billion percent he does not sound like that. What's wrong with me? So then Young Jay is like, okay, you know what, Moana, you want to get some fresh air with me? Let's go outside for a second. Which she thought was extra sweet because he did notice that she had a problem with everybody smoking around her. She doesn't smoke. There's a lot of people smoking inside and she's just like, <clears throat> every time like she gets a whiff, she's fanning her mouth. So Young Jay noticed this and he decided to take her out to get some air, also to get her away from Bomi for a little bit so she could breathe. You know, it's Friday night, so outside's not really any quieter, but the air is slightly more fresh, but it is soul, so it's not that fresh. He apologized on Bomi's behalf. He's like, yeah, you know, he's like this when he drinks. He's just a little pushy. He doesn't quite get it. Boundaries don't exist to him anymore. I'm so sorry. And she's like, you don't have to apologize on his behalf. Like, it's fine. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, it is true that she thinks that Bomu is cute, but she thinks Yonjae is fine. Chen, are you made of fluorin, 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 iodine, and neon? Because you kind of look fine. Can she feel lines? Girl, nasty. I've been a nasty girl. She said he wasn't that tall, but he was fit. She really liked. He had like this longer haircut, and he kept like brushing his hair back and that made her go crazy. Ladies, what is it? Cause it makes me go crazy too, just seeing a guy have to like, oh fuck, I'm fucking up my bangs. Seeing a guy have to like brush his hair back and just, ugh. Oh, give me a minute. Yeah, that's nice. She said he also had earrings and if he was taller and tatted up, it would have been a done deal. I mean, plus so far he was being really nice to her. He was trying to get her away from the smoke. He was trying to get her away from Bom Yu. He was looking out for her, even though they just met. And you know, she found out that she enjoyed spending time with him just one-on-one, -on -one, even though they're outside in the middle of a crowded street, most likely, just talking like, yeah, so um, it's crazy inside, huh? And since they were just outside standing around for a bit, they decided, yo, you want to take a walk or something? Let's go get a drink. Let's go cool off. Maybe we can find a snack or something to eat. This is where Moana's like, she knew she liked him. Like, not only was he really, really fucking cute, but he was also being so nice to her. And isn't it sad that it really don't take that much, ladies? I can totally relate to this because if I see a guy who is cute, and respectful and nice to me, I love you. The bar is so low, it's in the depths. The trenches of hell. So he kept explaining Bomu's behavior, like, you know, he's not a bad guy. He has stress, you know, he works like two jobs, plus he tutors, and he, he likes to drink, you know, we all like to let loose and have drinks. And she's like, you don't have to keep explaining, I get it. And then Yeonjae's like, this is how he gets around pretty girls. Hold up. So that's when uh, Moana's like, you think I'm pretty? <laughs> Thank you. And I'm just going to throw my two cents in because I did see her Instagram picture and Bay is cute. She is adorable. She has like her curls are popping. Anyway, Moana tried to play it cool. She's like, I'm sure you say that to all the girls. And he's like, what? You think I'm Riz guy? Can we make that a phrase? Riz guy? You think I'm Riz guy? That's so precious. I'm not Riz guy. You think I'm Riz guy? So yeah, you know, of course she appreciated him calling her cute, but she's like, look at him. There's no way he's single. I'm sure he says this to all the girls, whatever. Let me just play it cool. So after they were out, they got some water, they found some snacks and they say, you know what? We've been gone a while. We should probably get back in and see where Bomu is because hopefully he's still there. So when they go back to the club, because they didn't even leave this club. Like, so the club that Bomu's friend owns, they stayed there for the rest of the night. That wasn't the plan. They were planning to just start there and see where the night takes them. But free drinks, why would you leave that situation, you know? You don't know. So when they get back, they find out that the Korean couple they left, they decided to go home early. And Bomu is there with the foreign girl and she's now just as drunk as he is. They're asking him, where were you? Like, we thought you left. What took you so long? And he's like, oh yeah, you know, she just wanted to get some air from the smoke. And <laughs> trying to be funny because he's not Riz guy, Bomu lights a cigarette and he's like, hey, you're like, aren't I so cool? Stop doing that! Get some help. So Yonjay's like, bro, come on, can you put that out? And he did. To Bomu's respect, he did. He put it out. So then Bomu asked Moana if she wanted another drink. She's like, nope, I am good. So he took both shots for her. So then Yonjay's like, oh God, this is gonna be one of those nights. This might be trouble. So he took Bomu away to get him something to drink, to get him to the bathroom, just get him away. Like, yo, slow the fuck down. And he left Moana to talk with the foreign girl. And this is when the foreign girl said something very interesting to her because this is the first she's ever heard of it. She told Moana that while she was gone, Bomu was like, oh, where's my girl? Where's she at? Have you seen Moana? And she wanted to ask her what their relationship was because before they all met up, Bomu's like, hey, 
to his friends, I'm going to bring my girl. You guys get to meet my girl this weekend. Moana's like, his girl? He's my tutor. Like, what is going on? And that's why the friend, the foreigner was confused because when she first met her, she was like, he used to tutor me too. So she's like, you're a student. Why is he saying you're his girl? So she needed to get that clarification from Moana. But keep in mind, she's also kind of drunk too. So I'm sure it's just in one ear and out the other. But yeah, she assumed that they were dating because of what he said. So Bum Yu and Young Jae come back and immediately Bum Yu, I'm gonna get these names mixed up eventually. It's gonna happen. And Bum Yu was trying to dance with Moana. She's like, no, you know, <laughs> respectfully, but no. <laughs> and he wouldn't really respect that and take that for an answer. He's like, come on, like, why, why are you being such a stiff? Come on, dance with me, dance with me. Again, why do I make him sound like that what is wrong with me so the foreign friend and yunjae were able to get him on the dance floor away from her to give her a minute so while she's alone over there she's like i'm his girl why is he telling him i'm his girl like what does that even mean what do you mean <laughs> and on top of that she has not learned any new korean tonight so far he's supposed to be oh in the social setting i'm gonna teach you some korean no he hasn't taught her shit. They've only been speaking English. So when they all get back over to Moana, she tells them that she, hey, you guys have fun, but I think I'm gonna head out. Like it's, I had a long day. I worked all day. I think I'm tired. I'm gonna go home now. And the rest of them are like, yeah, you know, we got a long weekend. Like we shouldn't burn out all our energy on Friday. Like let's, let's go home. Bum Yu didn't want to leave, but eventually his friends did convince him and they all left. The foreign friend, luckily she lived in Itaewon, which is not far from Yongsan. Well, Yongsan is kind of like, Itaewon's like in Yongsan, so it's not far. She got her taxi. She already had an order. She's ready to go. Moana's like, text us when you get home. Let us know you made it safe. So now that the Korean couple's gone and the foreign friend's gone, that just leaves Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> now remember, Moana arrived with Bum Yu. So he showed her the way there. She's still new to Korea, so she doesn't fully know where she is and how to get around and stuff. So she's like, he's too drunk to help me. And he's been flirting with me. That's that's not a, I don't know. I don't want to, no, we're not going back in the direction of where I, I live, not my dwelling. So Young Jae said, you know what? We'll get him home and then I'll help you get home. He said, he's drunk. Let's get him home before he passes out. So they all get in one taxi together and Yeonjae is in the middle to keep them apart because that's been his role all night, the mediator. And while they're in the taxi, Moana's kind of tripping because she's like, I could have sworn that Yeonjae drank just as much as Bum Yu did. Like, why is he not as drunk, you know? And plus he's smaller. So she was, she was confused. She was perplexed. Mans can hold his liquor. So while they're in the taxi, Bum Yu is drunk. He's mumbling to himself and he's dropping love bombs at Moana. Even the taxi driver started to laugh. Edura, aigo, aigo. So anyway, <laughs> they finally get to Bum Yu's place and Yeon Jae says, hey, to the taxi driver, can you wait? I'm just gonna take him upstairs, get him in and come back out. We got another stop to make. So she's like, oh, we're just gonna stay in this taxi. Okay, that works for me. So Yeon Jae comes back out, drops off Bum Yu. He's fine, he's safe and accounted for. And they get back in the taxi and head towards Moana's apartment. Now Moana lives in southern Seoul, so she lives across Han River. So they have to cross the river. And while they're crossing the river, Yeonjae opens the window because he's like, oh god, what a fucking night. I've been babysitting. Apparently Moana started to look cold. And instead of rolling the window back up, he decided to like sit closer to her so she'd be warmer. Riz guy? You think I'm Riz guy? It is also worth noting that because Yeonjae has been such a sweetheart so far, he said, you know, how about we tell the taxi driver that we can go to the station closest to your house because, you know, you might not, you just met me tonight. You might not want me to know where you live. Like, that's fine. The station, hopefully it's close enough and you can walk from there. She was like, yeah, you know, I appreciate that. She appreciated that he thought that way, you know? So they get to her place. They get to the station to her place, I should say. And he got out of the taxi too. And she's like, oh, like, you're not going to go onward to your home. He's like, oh, I just wanted to make sure you made it home safe. I can just take the train from here. It's no big deal. Train start running again soon. She's like, oh. Okay, but because she didn't want to say goodbye to him just yet, she's like, actually, you know, my place, is, it was a short walk, y'all. She said it was like a, a five minute walk, but she was like, you know, it's it's early in the morning and it's dangerous for a girl to be walking around alone. Like, hey, you cute guy, can you escort me? A lady must always be escorted having a stroll through the town. So while he's walking her home, he asks her if it's okay for them to exchange cacaos. So they arrive in front of her apartment and adorably, Yeonjae just shook her hand. But she's like, oh, I'm a foreigner. Like, I hug. You can give me a hug. He had his butt all out. She said it was like an air hug, but she respected like the boundaries. She said it was like one step short of doing the hover hands that we see like a lot of idols do. So before she goes inside, she's like, oh, you know, text me when you get home. I just want to make sure everybody's okay and uh, all accounted for because you guided us all home. You made sure we all got home safe. We need to make sure you get home safe too. And it only took him like 20 minutes to text her like, yeah, I'm home. So apparently he lives close to her. The trains were super fast. They started running again. So the next day, Moana woke up to a bunch of texts from the tutor, Bomi. 
He said he heard how horrible he was last night and he is so sorry. He was saying how he just has so much to drink and she's cute and he couldn't help it. And she's like, it's fine, you know, you just wanted to dance. You told me you love me a lot, but aside from just aggressively trying to dance with me, you didn't really cross any lines, so it's fine. He's like, oh, I'm a much better guy when I'm sober. Let me prove it to you. And he wanted to take her out while he was sober. So he was asking her on a date. But Moana's like, ah, I was worried this would happen. Um, respectfully, <laughs> I just want to keep this tutor tutory relationship like we can be friends that's great i want to make friends here that's why i'm learning korean but no i don't want to date you sorry and then right after that she got a message from yeonjae saying hey how'd you sleep are you all good did you hear from bomyu because i told him what happened last night and he's probably gonna apologize soon so she's like yeah yeah i heard from him um awkwardly enough he just asked me out on a date and then yeonjae's like oh this is awkward because i was gonna ask you on a date <laughs> even yeonjae said he was confused because usually bum you almost almost he's like that with every cute girl he's like he just flirts he's a flirt so he didn't think that this was any different so he thought moana was clear for approach like i'm not messing up any guy code thing i like her she's cool you flirt with everything that walks so he didn't think it was a problem so then he's like oh what, what did you say did you tell him yes you're, you're, are you guys dating she said no i told him that i just wanted to stay his student but she hasn't heard from him like he stopped responding after she sent that message so she doesn't know what that means but i think we all know what that means so then moana's like well you know hypothetically if you did ask me out i probably would have said yes he's like oh okay really where shall we go She's like, oh, well, you didn't ask me yet, so mm. you think I'm Ria's guy? So yeah, basically he did actually formally ask her out. He's like, yeah, you know, I'd like to take you out. It was nice getting to know you, but it's a shame it was in the club. So with Bum Yu, she really liked him as her tutor. But with Young Jay, she really liked him, just full stop. They're on their little side quest. They're going on dates and stuff, getting to know each other, taking it slow, as they say on Love Island. It's still early days in it. I'm not closed off. But unfortunately, Moana has not heard from Bum Yu since. As soon as he tried to ask her out, she said, oh, I just want you to stay my tutor. Nothing. Crickets. And it sucks so bad because she said he was so brilliant at teaching her Korean. Whatever he was doing was working for her. So she was really upset by that. So Yeonjae, he's like, you know, I can teach you some stuff here or there, but like, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> also, don't worry about Yeonjae and Bomyu because apparently they're still fine. According to Yeonjae, Bomyu is fine with it. He doesn't tutor her anymore and he ghosted her, but he is still thriving in his tutoring business, dating some of his students. You know, it's no big deal to him. He's a playa playa, Riz guy. <laughs> you think I'm Riz guy? So yeah guys, if you want to hear more about Moana and Yeonjae's dating, she said to let her know and she'll get right on it because they're still seeing each other now. But like she said, it's like a slow burn. Like this all just happened. They're still getting to know each other and he's been a super respectful gentleman about it all. So that's refreshing. But seriously, what a shame though to lose a really good tutor like that because you want to date her and other girls like why can't you just be my tutor? Anyway, it's been a while since we've done the story time. If you miss these, maybe rewatch or watch some that you've missed because we have so many story times on this channel. There's a whole playlist. It's about to pop up on the end screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Annyeong!